welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video we are going to see the detailing of how to draw a frame a section through a framed structure so uh, basically if you see uh, there are two types of uh, structure first one is the framed structure and second one is the load bearing structure so generally load bearing structures are the structures which contains the walls only and a framed structure is a structure which consists of we can say a column beam will be there slab will be there and footing will be there okay if these structural members are there then we called it as a framed structure and if only walls are there then it is called as load bearing structure okay, so let's see how to draw a section through a framed structure so first of all very important thing is that you have to show the internal dimensions of the structure okay so first you have to give the name for the room and second is you have to write the internal dimensions generally x and y axis are given first is the x axis second is the y axis so maybe here 3 meter by 5 meter is expected okay so you can simply write 3 meter space meter so these are the internal dimensions of the room then you have to show the thickness of the wall so this is the thickness of the wall you have to draw on all sides okay after the drawing the thickness the very much uh, important part uh, that is uh, showcasing the column okay here you can see at the corner the location of the column is there so we have drawn the columns so how can we draw the column columns are either horizontal or they are vertical okay so you have to draw a diagonals like this here you can see so this is the general representation of the column so first draw the internal dimensions then give the offset and draw the columns after drawing the column you have to show the window like this so here you can write w also and then you have to showcase the door with capital d if suppose different types of doors are there then you can use the dimension d1 d2 different types of sizes i am talking about the sizes then you can write w1 w2 okay w1 will be something x by 1 meter x by y meter w2 will be x1 by y1 meter like that also okay now very important thing is from where you are going to drawing the section so here you can see this is a section line and we have shown the arrow that means we are looking in this direction and very much important it's from where our section line is going here you can see our section line is cutting the window that means in our framed structure there must be window here you can see our section line is not cutting the door so in our section there will not be any door so let's see how to draw okay so what you have to draw that you have to extend this projection upward okay now i will explain you the details of the frame structure 
so any uh, rcc building always contain the footing so in footing the basic thing is the pcc uh, here you can see i have marked here this portion is nothing but pcc that is plain cement concrete okay above that there is rcc footing so this is footing up to this this area is called as footing okay so this is the structural footing means here there will be reinforcement will be there concrete will be there okay so pcc is provided uh, for the footing so that footing will be rest on the flat plane surface that's why pcc is provided okay above the footing there will be uh, a column okay after column uh, uh, there will be a beam and this beam is generally called as ground beam because we have shown this as a ground level so the beams which comes near the grounds are called as ground level beam okay above the ground level beam we construct a wall so this is a wall okay so we will construct the wall up to plinth level so uh, before the pcc uh, this level is called as plinth level means from the ground up to the uh, slab level or we can say pcc level this is called as plinth level so uh, you have to uh, construct this height by using brickwork so the internal portion is above the ground level this is above the ground level so we have to fill this so we fill this by using murum okay after filling this murum by compacting properly then we will provide the pcc so this layer is called as pcc layer so you can see it extend beyond the a wall also slightly so this layer is called as pcc level so we will get a flat surface on that we can construct our flooring right so that's why the pcc is provided there that is plain cement concrete okay let's come back then again we have to construct the wall here okay now our section is going through the window here you can see our section is going through window that's why remember before the window before the window or below the window there will be a seal level so this is a seal level seal means it is nothing but a small rcc beam we can call it as a so here you can see this is rcc seal okay above that we will construct the window and above the window there will be lintel so always remember above the window there will be lintel again rcc lintel or we can say small rcc beam and again means above and below there will be a concrete member here we can call it as a lintel and this portion is called as a seal okay this portion that is extended beyond the wall is called as chajja so the purpose of the chajja is for uh, like sun shade okay now remaining portion you can uh, construct your wall here we have showcased the ventilation also okay if there is a bathroom or something like that then we provide the ventilation okay above that uh, there is a rcc beam so you can see this beam along with the slab so this is the slab rcc slab and this is the rcc beam okay and above that we have constructed a parapet wall of 1 meter height and above this is called as coping on opposite end uh, the lintel level is going through all the sides so here we can have to show the lintel level our section is not passing through door 
hence uh, we have not shown the door here uh, we have shown entire wall here okay beam will be there slab will be there so many details see detailing you can get here so this is the way you can draw a section through a framed structure okay if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section okay thank you thank you so much for watching the video please like share subscribe the channel thank you thank you so much